On the foothills of Mount Moon, new friendships are forged, ever closer to completing his quest. So let's get a new member of the team. Hopefully we can catch this Spiro. And we have, so that's number three. It is another flying normal type, but it's something we can do. Jumping up ahead, we're ready to go into Mount Moon. Oh, there's a lovely sleeping Meowth. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you say, text. That not sleeping Pokemon. Whatever. <laughs> ah! Doom at Mount Moon! Right, okay, enough tripping over Geodudes. Got some suspicious looking folks up ahead. Search further in. Oh, hello, guys. No, well, you were talking really loud. Ah, so it is your Meowth that was there. Doing a little dance. So long, twerp! Whatever. Ah, so you're after fossils. Okay, that's pretty cool that they're in here then, I guess. Let's just keep moving on. Dodging some Zubats. Enough of them. It's a cave, so we're going to see plenty of them, no doubt. Ah, and there's that lady once again. Pretty uh, physics-defying hair, really, the way it curls back around. That must take a lot of hairspray. Moving forward again through the cave. Dodging trainers, dodging Pokemon. And now here's the guy. I think we're going to see a theme. Next one, I reckon we're going to see the uh, the cat, the old Meowth. Quit following us, twerps. See, I told you there's a lot of Zubats in here. What have we got? Oh, a pearl. Lovely. That'll be a nice bit of money to make back some... Uh, for some um, supplies further down the line, no doubt, when we get out of here. And get to the next town. We're getting through pretty quickly. Ah, I must be a psychic-type Pokemon myself. There's Meowth. Meow. Yeah, well, whatever, fellas. <laughs> this is a little run. Yeah, let's get out of here. There will be probably a few cuts, because like, there are so many Pokemon that keep jumping out at me, but they keep jumping up right in front of me as well, so I don't get much chance. Aha, so we're, we've heard about them before. I'm fairly sure I've mentioned them, but we are challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. That shouldn't be too bad for little old tiny Tim. Or even Artemis. I mean, Tim's got the dark move, but look, we're pretty strong now after Brock. Yeah, it's fairly... Oh, good. Oh, no, okay, we're, we're still awake. We're still awake. The Drowsy didn't bore us to sleep. Just smack him with a normal uh, quick attack. Okay, so he bored us to sleep. <laughs> Not to worry, like I say, we can just... Uh, Drag on Tim out. I think he said Tim Allen. Yeah, like, not the kind of thing <laughs> you find at the top. But Tiny Tim, come smack him out. Confusion, okay. I don't know what levels uh, Drowsy gets like Dream Eater, but that would have been a pretty good combo there. Bite. And he's pretty much going to be done with this one. Yeah, super effective. And gone. Fantastic. So. So like I say, that's our first real instance of Team Rocket. Gonna just keep on moving past it. I say first instance, we obviously saw the the suspicious trio earlier, but first named one in terms of trainer. And speaking of the trio... I don't think Meowth wants to go down there. Don't send your Pokemon on your little dirty work. And speaking of Pokemon jumping out at me, here's a Paris. <laughs> so... You know what? For stopping me in my tracks, you're just going to now be a tasty bit of experience. Something interesting I did watch the other day, um, a video popped up in my related uh, feed. It was a video from Austin John Plays, I believe his name was. Uh, fairly well known, no doubt. He had a video entitled, Can You uh, Complete a Proper Nuzlocke of Let's Go uh, Pikachu and Eevee? PVM Chikachu. And his general consensus, it is possible, it is very possible, but for the standard that we're going for, normal types, we wouldn't be able to catch normal types, and 
really use them all that much. I don't think it's possible to do, like as he, he very much proves, but there's a whole lot more planning that goes into it. The Pokemon that you need to catch on the routes, then the, what the, the, they're to evolve into so you can fill up your Pokedex. Um, it's pretty pretty in-depth with its, like I say, its planning, its routing, its figuring stuff out. So, I said it's going to be a challenge of sorts, it's just more so now we're just going to be normal, only using normal type Pokemon. Um, I mean, I, I say it's possible, I'd have to really test that one out, but to catch only one and then only use normal types, it's, it would be a, a tall order, I reckon. Arnhem's is back awake, I forgot that he was asleep for the previous <laughs> drowsy battle. Shouldn't be too bad having... Yeah, that was like, what, 1 HP, 2 HP? Zubat's got nothing on a flying type. Quick attack, hopefully we can smack him down. We've got some... There we go, he's gone. Or she's gone, I suppose, it was a girl. Maybe, it was a girl trainer. But yeah, we're cruising on through Mount Moon. You know, nearly all done. There are some side sections that I'll no doubt we'll grab some bits for. And here is... Oh, you found these fossils. Okay, that's cool. Oh, oh I see how it is. How about... If you don't get out of my way, I'm going to smack the glasses right off of you. Hmm? Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you for being reasonable. <laughs> um, I'm not really bothered by which fossil I choose. What do you reckon, you, dude? Well, you're saying Dome. I'm saying Helix. Like I say, I'm not going to be able to use these. I'd probably use, maybe get them for the Pokedex if necessary. Okay, so he's going to take that one, and he's going to get a little giant Clefairy. Or tiny Clefairy, but hey, still pretty cool. Stop right there. I know I said I wouldn't do voices, but... <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit uh, hard to resist. Okay, so we've got Jesse and James with Team Rocket. As if I needed to really hold the sort of suspense. You knew who it was. But we do get our first instance of a double battle here. So that's pretty exciting. Ekans and Coffin. Now respectively, you know the duo. Tiny Tim and Adonis. Lesser uh, Real Rock. Now the Spear I caught, I have named him Stork. And will be sitting out the foreseeable future. Got to catch up some levels. I'll do some uh, training, no doubt, with them. But now we've kind of got a bit of a... bit of a slog. You know, they're... Evenly matched in terms of levels, uh, you know they're not far off of us. We should get the jump on them, especially if we keep getting the uh, flinches and such. Oh, poisoned! Are we both poisoned? Oh no, that's going to really tick us down. Um, okay, just holding, guys. We can get out of here. We'll be fine. I hope we're going to be fine. So we're just going to continue to use headbutt. And Gust. Lovely jubbly. See, I'm glad that we do get a uh, headbutt from Brock, because that's a fantastic move in and of itself. Plus, it means that pretty much nearly most Pokemon can learn it. So, it's very handy. Bide, the old TM that he would have given us, I've never used it. And uh, when, you know, you see Pokemon using it, I just... I pretty much smack them way before any kind of chance for them to even use Bide properly. So we've got Wing Attack, that's going to be nice. We'll get rid of Quick Attack. Artemis is going to be pretty quick regardless. So he should be able to outspeed most things. Uh, that poison's really draw drawing near and dragging us down. Okay. So we've got another headbutt. Just, I know it still doesn't matter, but I'll put it onto the coffin anyway. And... Gust. I can't think if... Coffin's... I think Coffin's is obviously physically defensive, rather than special. Oh no, Artemis. You know, you had a bit of a tough time with Brock. And now Jesse and James are really kicking it to us. 2 HP, oh no. It could be over for Artemis. No, I, you know, I'm not going to switch out. I'm just going to keep going. Artemis, 
I believe in you. And I hope you can believe in me too. Okay, coffin's down, so we don't need that quick attack. Artemis is obviously going to be stronger. Not stronger, but faster than most things. Definitely of a lower level, with a few exceptions, no doubt. But twerp. I just really like twerp as a word, and it's pretty fun. It's like Team Rocket's blasting off. Hmm. The rain's just absolutely hammering it down now. We, I need to get to the next town quick. Hold in there, guys. Hold in there. The storm hammering down, racing towards Cerulean City. Time is ticking for Anbium friends.